This is a quick how-to video on priming Baxter's blood administration set that has a rigid drip chamber. So all of our administration sets do have priming instructions on the packaging. In addition, if you open the packaging on the edge where the diagram is, it's actually a perforated package, so you'll be able to easily open it. When you initially pull the tubing out of the packaging, all of your clamps will be in the open position, so we first need to close our blue roller clamp and then we'll close our on off clamps on our spikes. Sometimes when you pull these out of the package, the roller clamp is actually seated on the spike. So we need to just move that down a bit and then we'll be able to properly close that roller clamp. Once all of our clamps are closed, we're ready to insert the spike into our solution container. We're gonna completely prime this set with saline prior to introducing our blood product. So when we insert our spike into our solution container, we wanna use a firm push and twist motion, making sure that spike is completely seated in that port. At this point, we will locate our blue roller clamp. We'll go ahead and open our on off clamp for our solution container. We're going to invert upside down our drip chamber. Using our blue roller clamp, we'll open it about halfway and allow this drip chamber to fill about halfway. Now, once this drip chamber is filled about halfway, we can go ahead and close our blue roller clamp. At this point, we will open our unused spike and we'll allow that to prime until we have drops falling and then we can close that roller clamp. At this point, we can return our drip chamber to the upright position. Using our blue roller clamp, we will continue to prime the rest of our administration set until we've purged all air. Once we've primed the rest of the administration set, we can close our blue roller clamp and we'll be ready to spike our blood product with our unused spike. We do not squeeze the drip chamber to fill. If you squeeze the drip chamber on this administration set, you can actually damage the filter or cause air trapping. Either one of these can lead to an under infusion of your blood product or the, the actual drip chamber may crack.